All right, so does everybody remember the Chevy Cruze right here? Fuel pump issues where the customer had asked me if I could basically cut open an access panel to the fuel tank or for the fuel pump, I'm sorry. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna lie. This seat was kind of a pain in, pain in the ass to get up. Um, so to get this side off, you have to shove it down and push it like outward because it has a little hook. And then this little part right here wedges under here, and this is actually an airbag, so you cannot take that off. So you have to use some muscle to get it out of there. And then there's two clips on the front, and those clips are, uh, they're pretty in there. You just gotta pull. See like that, see the clips. So as you can tell, those don't come out. They're literally insulated in the freaking seat. But these were the side clips I was talking about. See, it's like a little hook. So you just gotta like push it one way or the other and get basically get it on hooks. So it's just right here. Well, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, guys, do not try this at home. This fuel tank is completely empty, so there's no gas. Um, not to say that there's not any fumes or anything like that, but I'm gonna face these sparks away from it so it doesn't go inside, downward at all. There you go, that's perfect. So easy that is, we're already through. Oh, it looks like we might have a little bit more to cut right there. There we go. Little piece in that corner, wasn't it? Yeah. And then a tiny little piece right here. Just like that, and Look at that, dude! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! It's just right there. Man, <laughs> good job to that, buddy. Ugh. Well, all right, dude. That is incredible. Wow, that is incredible. Look how clean that cut is. I gotta acknowledge that just for a second. That is pretty, that is bad. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And with this, dude, my wife got me this for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, she knew what to do. I had freaking a DeWalt home. one. You get home, you hug her neck. Yeah, absolutely, man. I had a DeWalt one, and then she was. She knows I got everything else, Milwaukee. But someone sold me a good set of DeWalts, and uh, she, she on Christmas, man. She was like. Here's your Schrader valve. So, super easy to bleed it out. Literally just like that. Now, they'll, some fuel will come out of the, uh, when I pull the line obviously, but it won't go. Yeah. I think you got the, got the pressure off there. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's bust that negative off. All right, so then we just want to pop this negative cable off. All right, so we're going to pick a spot.
I'm gonna have to go drain this right quick. Here's that. Oh, oh yeah, oh, it's I blue. I yeah. There we go. <laughs> Hear that? Yeah, there we go. Man, now that sucker, you had to give it a few whacks. So it's not gonna come loose. <laughs> no. no, man, I uh, think you're golden for a while. <clears throat> Ugh, I have to sweat off of my face. Okay, dude. Where it is, here we are. Where'd you get a text from? OTC. Mm -hmm. Start for me! Yeah, there we go. Don't worry about that, it's just oil. Yeah, you see the rear? Look at all that oil that's burning out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to worry about the speed. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's all that oil that's burning out. Man, I did a valve cover for a customer that had the same issue. And uh, he was like, you know, a bunch of oil got into the cylinder holes, obviously. And I didn't tell him before I started it, like, kind of like what just happened. And I started it, and he was like, turn it off, turn it off, it's smoking. Went and picked up the valve cover and some new spark plugs, so. Right, I'm gonna lay my truck bed down and then get this prepared. Replace that. There's the seal. Where did you break it? Oh, it's just leaking under here. <laughs> Doesn't really look like you got any brakes. It looks fairly new, so to be honest with you, um, 
someone probably just didn't seat it correctly because when I was feeling it dude it didn't feel like it was seated correctly either there's your good old time and chain wipe all this off got to clear that muck off right there There's the seal. Where did you break it? Oh, it's just leaking under here. <laughs> Doesn't really look like you got any breaks. It looks fairly new. So to be honest with you, um, someone probably just didn't seat it correctly. Cause when I was feeling it, dude, it didn't feel like it was seated correctly either. Well, all right, brother. Appreciate it, sir. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. All right, so you guys see that? So cutting that little access panel out was a great success. Here's the thing though, I would not recommend doing that unless you really, really know what you're doing. Because if you position that grinder any differently, those sparks are gonna go towards the fuel tank that's highly flammable. So it's extremely um, stupid to do if you don't know what you're doing. Um, nonetheless though, uh, I knew exactly what I was doing. I was a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie, about not about causing a fire, but about nicking a line um, because of how thin that is. Uh, but uh, as you all seen, that was a great success. So like I said, I wouldn't try that unless you really know what you're doing. So 